Okay, in this video, we want to do a little bit of a matrix. Now, find the values of x for which the matrix A is singular. Now, by the singularity of a matrix, we mean that the determinant of the matrix should be zero. So, find x, in other words, the, the statement says that find x such that the determinant of A is going to be zero. Alright? So, by the determinant of a matrix, if the determinant of a matrix is zero, that means that that matrix is a singular matrix, and therefore it is non invariable Okay, but we just have to show that 2x minus 1 as the entries, and 7, 3, 6, x plus 1, x minus 1, and x itself, the determinant here is equal to zero. So let's just go ahead and expand this. We're going to start with, I'm going to use these rows, okay, as pivot. So this is it. I'm going to first of all use 2x minus 1 as a pivot. And we know what, we just cross this and we cross this part and we multiply this diagonal element. So we're going to have 6 times 3, 18, minus 7 times x plus 1. All right. And again, I'm going to take the negative of this one, having in mind that these act signs here are plus, minus, plus, minus, and alternating like that. So when we are taking the middleman here, we're going to put minus, and we put it down, x plus 7 as a pivot, then we multiply it with, we now cross out this row that we pick the x plus 7, sorry, this column, and we cross out this other row, and we're just going to enter with the product of the diagonals that we didn't cross out. So that will be 3 times x, okay, minus 7 times x minus 1, x minus 1, like that, right? And again, we're going to add it with x plus 4 as another pivot that I choose to take, and we're going to cross this column and cross this row, and we're going to take x times x plus 1 minus 6 times x minus 1, like that, all right? And we go ahead and equate that to 0. Okay, that alone has just taken one part of the board. Now, we should start and do some expansions on that, all right? And be very careful, we should be very careful with this, 2x minus 1. Right, so we have to take 18 minus 7 times x, negative 7x, then negative 7 times 1, that's just negative 7. That we are done with that one. Then we go ahead with this x plus 7. Then we take 3x minus 7x. So 3x minus 7x. Then negative 7 times negative 1, that is going to be positive 7. And again, we add it with plus x plus 4. We go ahead and multiply this out. That is, this is going to be x squared plus x. So we put it down, x squared plus x. Then minus 6x plus 6. So that's just minus 6x plus 6. And we equate that... To zero as well. Okay, so we just go ahead and simplify this element or these terms in the bracket before we start proper with what we want to do. So this is going to give us 2x minus 1 times, now 18 minus 7, that is just 11 minus 7x minus x plus 7, then we put it down as 3x minus 7x, that is just negative 4x. So I can put it down like this, all right? And again, plus now, x plus 4, then x squared minus 5x plus 6, we equate that to 0. Hmm. Okay, so just have to be very careful with this expansion. We can multiply everything here out. And let me just quickly give us what we would arrive at. We would simply arrive at x to power 3, 
टेन प्लस ओके माइनस इलेवन एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थर्टी सिक्स एक्स माइनस थर्टी सिक्स इक्वल टू जीरो ओके सो दिस इज वेर वी अराइव आफ्टर सम सीरीज ऑफ एक्सपेंशन इज नॉट दैट डिफिकल्ट जस्ट गो अहेड ऑल राइट नाउ फ्रॉम हियर वी जस्ट हैव टू गो अहेड एंड गेट द वैल्यूज ऑफ एक्स फ्रॉम दिस लास्ट इक्वेशन we can do this using um the long division method or by synthetic division but i'm not going to do that i'm going to apply a, a simple step here you know we first of all look for a factor of this by trial and error method then we can use it as we want to use it now from here we would not have not to notice that One is not a factor. Sorry, x minus one is not a factor. That is to say, one is not a solution because by adding the coefficients of each of the x of each of the terms in this equation, it is not it is not equal to zero. But if you look at two, two cube is eight. Then two square is four. So eleven times four is forty four. So n minus forty four is negative thirty six. 32 36 times 2 is 72 72 minus 36 is positive 36 so negative 36 plus 36 is 0 that means that x is equals to 2 is a solution so by just substituting 2 for x we get that that equation will be satisfied so that means that x minus 2 is a factor all right so the idea here will be to rewrite this equation in such a way that we can be able to factor out this x minus 2 so the other one will be the quotient okay now this is it let me clean this other part of the board so getting this as a factor it means that we can rewrite this expression in such a way that we can always factorize the factor okay and the remain and the other part the, the other remnant is called the quotient Now I can rewrite this as I will start by saying x cube write the first term down Now which other term am I going to add with this such that I'm going to factor it out and get x minus 2 So the idea is if I should subtract 2x square then it follows that I can always have x square out like this and here I'm going to have x minus 2 so i have gotten the factor x minus 2 from this first term like that right so the idea is to always look for a term to add here so that when you factor it you are going to get the factor here and something else will remain so the next thing i'm going to do after I, after finding such a term i am going to add something else here so that we get back to the 11x square so what am i going to add to negative 2x square for us to recover the original negative 11x square so that is going to be by just subtracting 9x square okay so that completes it now what else am i going to write with this 9x square so that i can be able to factor x minus 2 that is going to be just plus 18 x so by doing this factoring this we're going to have minus 9 x and we're going to enter with just um x minus 2 just look at that right and again to complete this 36 that was here we need to add 18 x to that all right so from this 18 x what do we need to add to it in order to be able to factor x minus 2 we need to add negative 36 so that means that by taking out 18 we can have x minus 2 again and since we've reached the last term of this we just stop there and we equate everybody to zero that is just it or you can go ahead with the long division it's still going to give you the same thing all right so from here we can just put this out x minus 2 and we're going to enter with x cube minus 9x plus 18 okay is equal to 
Very nice, everything there is factorable. Here we're going to have x minus 2 times, well, to factor x squared minus 9x plus 18, you know that if we multiply negative 6 with negative 3, you're going to get 18, and by adding those two things, okay? So that means that x minus 3 and x minus 6 are other factors. So x is equals to 2, x is equals to 3, and x is equals to negative 6 are the values of x for which the matrix A will be singular. Okay, so this was pretty simple. The only difficulty is in being able to expand this without some errors. And if you can understand this little step here, it's very helpful compared to the long division. But anyway, it still gives us the same thing. Okay, thanks for watching.